everyone, welcome to Diwali Delights with Basha Foods. I am Deepa Yankaran and today I have a really delicious recipe to share with you guys. I will be using Vasha Foods Veggie Kingfish and I will be making a really really simple recipe. Today I will be making Veggie Kingfish with broccoli and mushrooms in tomato sauce. So let's get into it but before let me show you what I will be using to create this really really delicious dish. So here we have my veggie kingfish from Vasha Foods, pimento peppers, red onions, celery, saif, bandanya or shadowbani, sweet peppers, carrots, broccoli, mushrooms, portobello mushrooms. I also have some avocado oil, honey, sesame oil, ginger and garlic, black pepper, salt, soy sauce, cornstarch for thickening up our sauce, a little bit of water and some tomato sauce. And guys, all these veggies is available at Basha Foods. So we have our pan heated nicely, so let's begin. I'm going to add a little bit of avocado oil to my pan and some minced garlic. Just saute this for just about one minute. It does not have to get brown or anything like that. Very quick and easy step. So add your broccoli to your pan. You don't want to overcook broccoli. So it's just really a very light toss. I'm going to just cook this for maybe three to four minutes. Next, I'm going to just add my chopped portobello mushrooms. Okay guys, so after about four minutes, you want to remove your mushrooms and broccoli from this pot. So have your bowl very close by and just put it into a bowl and set it aside while you prepare your delicious sauce and the veggie kingfish. Next, I'm going to actually add two tablespoons of avocado oil to my pan. Next, my ginger and garlic goes in. You want to just saute this for just about one minute. Next, you want to add your soy sauce to this and your honey. And in goes your tomato sauce. Add your water. You want to cook this for just about one minute. Then you can add a little bit of your fresh herbs. Now I like using just a little bit of my herbs and I keep some for my garnishing later. And when you add fresh herbs at the end of your dish, I think it just adds just that finishing flavor. And of course it looks pretty. Okay, now I'm going to start adding my veggies. Pimento. And carrots goes in. So when your pot comes to a really nice bubble as you are seeing here, then you can add your veggie fish. So I'm just going to gently 
put them in to my sauce. And just leave it to simmer and absorb all that delicious flavor from this sauce. By the way guys, this smells amazing. So it has been eight minutes. Now I'm going to add my sweet peppers. Just a little. You don't have to overcook this, just about one minute. Because you don't want your sweet peppers to get too soft. I like it a little bit crunchy. So don't overcook. Now I'm going to add my broccoli and my mushrooms. This oat goes in. You just want to coat everything really well. Give it a good mix. Try not to be too rough. You don't want to mash up your fish. And you also don't want to overcook your mushrooms and your broccoli. So just give it a light toss. So there we have it guys, our Vasha's Foods Veggie Kingfish with broccoli and mushrooms in tomato sauce. This smells amazing, it was such an easy and of course delicious dish. So you all have to try it and don't forget to send some pictures, bye!